So, what the hell are we doing today? Very good question. So, to get a design or drawing from your computator to your Kernaka machine, you need to first draw it using a CAD software package. I'm using one called SolidWorks, but uh, there's uh, tens if not hundreds of suitable pra 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 packages out there. Draw something, draw whatever you want, well, within reason. Draw it, when you're happy with it, then you need to export it as DXF Delta X-Ray Foxtrot. If you live in the UK, I don't know what it is elsewhere. Who cares? I'm drawing very badly a very simple shape. Um, the plan is to convert that into code which the Kerner Kerr machine will understand. Um, in SolidWorks I have to select the face and export the face because it's at the moment I'm concentrating on two dimensions X and Y uh, while I wait for the spindle. Um, to be honest the z-axis will be the easy one it's just up or down. So save DXF. Once you've got the DXF, uh, just checking it there. Yeah, it might not look good on the screen, but it looks the same. There's no errors. Once you have the DXF file, the Kernel Kern machine's not going to understand it. So you need to convert that to G code. G code is uh, a very big subject and uh, I don't know enough about it to even begin to talk knowledgeably about it but I know that you have an X and a Y and a Z coordinate in a text file and um, a G at the start which the G set, uh, tells the machine what to do whether to pick up a tool whether to use like G90 or G91 would tell you whether to use absolute or relative coordinates uh, which is a subject which I am going to have to tackle uh, in due course. I found this software, DXF to G-code, I think it's written in Python. You open the file, the DXF file, it displays it, and then you resave it. It saved it as a Linux uh, something or other file, but um, when you open it in, in Notepad, uh, I've got what I want. I've got the G, the X, and the Y. It's put a space in between the X and the coordinate and the Y and the, the Y coordinate, so I'm just going to go in and edit those. Um, that's not really important at the moment. Formatting text is easy. Um, so I'm going to strip out all the other garbage, garbage, rubbish as we would say over here, this side of the Atlantic. G90 absolute programming yeah that's the next obstacle I need to read the absolute coordinates and convert them into relative coordinates because the relative coordinates are what the motors are interested in the motors only need to know how far to move from where they currently are they don't care where zero is zero zero rather or zero 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 three zeros two commas I think text file that looks if you remember a previous video that's starting to look very close to what my job.txt file looked like um, the next thing to do now is to run I think I tried, yeah, you're about to see me try and run that on my Raspberry Pi using my current code. I knew it would not work properly, but I just wanted to see what errors came up. You may wonder why I'm showing you all this, but I think it's uh, more interesting to see things being developed than just 
um, a speeded up video of somebody starting with a pile of wood or a bunch of electronics and then um, 50 seconds later it's all working to me um, that's not very interesting you may disagree if you do then well go away if you like not being aggressive just offering you that opportunity so that was the job file which I created for my very first um, attempt at passing interpreting G code who wants to see a kitten anyone there you go <laughs> right the G code which I'm um, about to pass actually has uh, decimal places in as well and obviously is um, representing millimeters the first time I made the bogus g-code file that was arbitrary numbers with no units so um, yeah when it said 10 or 40 it was actually just 10 or 40 rotation or uh, steps rather whereas this text file is obviously trying to represent millimeters <clears throat> So my, next, my uh, another challenge is to work out how to convert steps into millimeters. Um, any suggestions on that? I'd like to hear. Otherwise, I'll uh, be using um, Goggle. Why am I even bothering to do all this when there's Gerbil out there? And obviously, you may have seen I've got a Proton hat which actually runs uh, Gerbil. Well. I have seen other videos on the internet where people are, use, are controlling stepper motors to do interesting things um, and not necessarily a, a, you know, a, a 3 axis CNC machine and some people are, are using them to, uh, to you know, twist to braid wire or to uh, control robotic arms or plasma cutters or yeah lots of different things and um, I just think it'll be interesting to write some code and uh, by doing this I'll actually understand more about how G-code works and have a better appreciation of what's going on when I am just sending um, a, a ready-made G-code file straight through to um, through to the machine here you can see I'm about to run job.txt and it's just spitting out the same old numbers because I forgot that job.txt is just a text file. I'm putting hashes in the front, has not uh, blanked them out. <clears throat> I had my Python head on, so yeah, I'm a Beep. idiot. Yes, I know. Um, go back in, edit out the old lines from my original very first prototype G-code file. Control K if you use Nano, I believe. If you're wondering what the purpose of all this is, yeah, me too. No, I mean, um, yeah, sorry, I didn't say that. If you're wondering what the point is, it's because this is going to be a three-axis C machine. The uh, three-axis CNC machine. Yep. Spindle may be arriving from China. It may not. If it doesn't arrive, apparently... Uh, no. If it does arrive, I can keep it. Even though I've cancelled the order, which is what I'm hoping on. Right, there we have an error. Uh, that is the error because of um, the decimal places. So, next problem, how do I handle decimals? Um, do I do I round them and then have my machine work to the nearest one millimeter? I think that's probably the favorite uh, option. Failing that, I would then have to start changing integers to floats and I would still have to round them eventually to steps. I guess I could do micro steps, smaller steps on the stepper motor. Um, I don't see, to be honest, one millimeter on the machine I've built out of plywood is probably going to be about as accurate as I can hope to get really. So yeah, to do converts steps 
two millimeters. When you say millimeters, you have to say it like Arnie. Uzi nine millimeter. Hmm. Don't give up the day job. And um, yeah, the other thing is to try and um, create some variables, global variables, which store the uh, absolute position. And then on, as I run through the lines of G code, it, uh, the next the next line will then um, be subtracted from the previous line. And that will give the, the delta the, the difference from line two to line uh, to line one and so on. I hope this has been uh, mildly interesting. It's I find it more interesting than wandering around a shop buying pointless consumer items because it's that time of year. So write write something in Python. It's more fun than you know wandering around in a department store listening to lots of horrible festive music but that's just me and i'm miserable you may not be miserable but i don't know it's a good job we're all different isn't it i may sound like somebody who has like some kind of syndrome uh, who knows quite possibly But here is not the place to discuss mental health, although it is a very serious subject. So, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this video and, well, onwards and upwards. Don't forget to subscribe everybody, otherwise I'll keep banging on about it and then you'll get bored.